Hi, my name is Donnie Carr. We're out here today in Granite Bay, California, shoeing some working cow horses. And one of the subjects we've been talking about is shoe size. Well, a lot of people think that when you're running, doing cutting horses, reining horses, barrel racing horses, any speed event that you're going to have to put on a smaller shoe with tighter heels. Well, that's not necessarily the right thing to do. You're still going to lose the same amount of shoes because the horse is going to knock it off if it's too small and you may get a bowed tendon you know, over time by having not enough support. So my main focus is to get the heel of that shoe behind the cannon bone where the horse has his proper support no matter what it looks like. The owner can use bell boots and you know, you'll find that you're still going to you'll lose the same amount of shoes. It's your even less. So I do believe that a smaller shoe is not always the best option. When I determine my shoe size, I always pick up the foot, I look at the foot first, look at the angle of the shoulder and of the leg, and get, my, uh, get my angles lined up, and then I look at where the cannon bone is compared to the buttress or to the bulbs of the foot. And if you have a horse that's 52 degrees, and you're going to want to sh most likely shoe it all the way to the bulbs. So that's what I'm looking for whenever I pick up my shoe. A uh, horse that's 58 degrees, you still get that support behind the cannon bone, well, you might be somewhere in between the just leave him support, minimal support and expansion because you're going to have the heel of that shoe behind the cannon bone where he has the proper support. So the more slopey the horse, the longer the heel extension is, the less problems you're going to have.